Six districts around Puget Sound are still on strike. At least four have canceled classes for tomorrow, too. Strikes in Centralia, Tequila, Tumwater, and Puyallup caused those districts to delay the start of school at least another day. No decisions have been announced for schools in Camino Stanwood uh, and Tacoma, where negotiations continue. South Bureau Chief Drew Mickelson is live in Tumwater, where teachers have been meeting with the district all afternoon. Drew, what's up? Well, Lori, just about five minutes ago, the hundred or so teachers out in front of the Tumwater School District headquarters all gathered around. Their uh, union president uh, made an announcement saying that the Tumwater School District is suing the union, trying to file an injunction under the grounds that teacher strikes are illegal, something that has happened in past strikes in the state of Washington. We're trying to confirm that legal action from the district. But I will tell you that there are now nine districts in the state on strike. The union says that's never happened before. Superintendents say it's not as simple as giving everyone the raises that are being asked for. Today, that argument hit parents and students. What is all that dirt and stuff on my bounty ball? Cameron Munich is having a blast. And that's a carrot. But he and his brother Jonas would rather be at school than at the YMCA's expanded Y Care, giving parents a place to take their kids, set up, ironically enough, in Tumwater Middle School. And the teachers are out in front on strike. And the boys look yeah. him excited about starting school. They had their new clothes picked out and you know what they wanted to wear, but they didn't wear it today. <laughs> their grandmother, Leah Munich, That's works true. for the state. And if it weren't for the expanded daycare, would have to spend a vacation day caring for the boys. This week they're doing it for free. Next week they might have to start charging some. It's frustrating. It's frustrating for us. It's frustrating for them. I know that, the community. Puyallup High English teacher Gail Franks painted her classroom before her union voted to strike. Yeah. She hoped to be in class today. My feet are killing me at this point. <laughs> instead of walking the picket line. Well, yeah. But she says she's doing the right thing fighting for a fair race. I love my union. I trust my union. I trust the bargaining team and they're going to they're going to work hard. They're willing to work 24 hours a day to get it done. The district maintains they are only willing to offer raises that the district can afford. A spokesperson said the district is hopeful bargaining teams will make progress in the next few days. Bounce. Wait, does it bounce in Play-Doh? In the meantime, Cameron, his brother and thousands of students will have to wait to put on those first day of school clothes. I'd much prefer they were in school, but you know, you deal with it. I can't do anything about it. That YMCA daycare is also offering free food to the students who qualify for free and reduced lunches. That's coming courtesy of the Thurston County Food Bank and the Together organization. As for the negotiations here, they were scheduled to go until 11 o'clock at night, but it is not clear if that will happen. Live in Tumwater, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News. Thank you, Drew. Many school districts did start school on schedule, some last week, others yesterday, still others like Seattle today. Here are some pictures that viewers send us of their kids on their first day of class this school year. We want to see your kids' first day of school photos. Just post them to the King 5 Facebook page. Ah, those are some great pictures. Well, it was a nice 